This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 10th of February. James Spann, messy winter weather. We have a dual barrel winter storm ahead. We have phase one tonight and tomorrow morning. Another phase tomorrow night into Wednesday. And a lot of things to talk about. Let's first look out the window, as we like to do. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. This is coming from uh, Hamilton High School. And the one thing that clearly stands out is the fact that temperatures are way below computer model guidance, that the models don't understand this big cold air mass coming across a big snowpack over so much of North America. And it's cold. They're only in the uh, low 30s, barely above freezing, where the models had Hamilton around 41 or 42 today. That's a 10-degree error. Let's look at downtown Haleyville and Winston County. Same thing. They're uh, barely above freezing. And that'll be an interesting camera to watch. That is the one at Cheha State Park where it's cloudy and cold. And they will be in that wedge, the cold air damming setup Wednesday. And they could see some very significant ice up there on uh, Wednesday. We'll talk about that as we go. Well, there's the big picture, and we've got the northern branch with a trough delivering the cold air, the southern branch that's very energetic with a series of waves that will affect the state. And yeah, come on, look at these numbers. You know, it's only freezing at midday at Haleyville and Cullman. They're sitting at 32. Uh, the models had those cities up in the low 40s today. Uh, we do have low to mid 40s down here, uh, but temperatures are slowly coming down. They'll keep on dropping tonight. And you can see in the source region, even at uh, midday, it's still way below zero up on the Canadian border. So in the source region, a lot of cold air that will be working its way down in here. Uh, this is the uh, watch warning map, and uh, again, as I was doing this update, the Weather Service uh, actually pulled the trigger on a winter storm warning, so let's go to that. This is the uh, winter storm warning for Alabama, the counties in pink, and that's basically all of the Birmingham Weather Service counties north of Interstate 20. Uh, that would include uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, uh, Hamilton, and, and it's this weird situation where Cullman County is not in the Birmingham Weather Service county warning area they're in the huntsville county warning area so they're under a winter weather advisory despite the fact that counties on either side have a winter storm warning it's just a strange thing but many of us have given up hope of that ever changing but whatever it's going to be a messy winter weather situation late tonight and uh, tomorrow that was a radar this afternoon some patches of light rain and drizzle across the state we don't expect any problems uh, today or early tonight the issues come in here uh, after midnight tonight Let's go in there and now look at modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the uh, 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. And again, you can see that very energetic southern stream, all kind of uh, issues going on down here. And let's get in there and take a look. This is uh, the guidance valid at 3 a.m. tomorrow. After midnight tonight, you can see that band of uh, uh, freezing rain and snow along and north of Interstate 20. And this is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, this is the 12Z run. I just pulled in the 18Z run. And I stuck the names of the towns on there to give you a better idea of what we've got. That looks very nasty in terms of ice for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston. Uh, there could be enough ice in there for some power outages as tree limbs begin to break uh, and power lines have issues. I don't think this will be a catastrophic-type damage set up to the uh, power company infrastructure, but there could be some scattered outages. Uh, bridges and overpasses will be very slick tomorrow morning. Uh, the blacktop roads probably initially will be wet because it was so mild yesterday, but even on the blacktop roads, there could be some icy spots. And north of the ice zone, uh, Gadsden and Cullman and uh, Haleyville and Hamilton and Fayette, places like that, you're probably going to see a strip of maybe one to two inches of snow. Somebody up there might see three inches uh, on the high end, but that is clearly a very messy setup for tomorrow morning. Um this is the snow accumulation graphic coming off the, uh, the the NAM. And again, this is just part of the equation, but this shows the better snows from near Vernon and Sulligent over to Jasper, Coleman, Aniana, Gadsden, and Weiss Lake. And there's ice down to the south of that. And speaking of the ice, uh, this is the Buff Kit freezing rain analysis, and that's kind of creepy. That This is suggesting uh, Birmingham could see anywhere from maybe uh, three-tenths of an inch to over one half inch of freezing rain tomorrow morning and that is uh, that is not good uh, if we see that much there's definitely going to be some power outages so uh, if there's any fear it's a fear that this will be a bust where we're under forecasting the ice potential so just be aware of that um so and then this is six o'clock tomorrow evening all right so we're kind of in between waves uh, tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening as that first batch moves on to the east 
But the second batch comes in here for Wednesday. Uh, this is the large-scale look off the uh, GFS Wednesday at noon. And you can see the problem we've got. we got a wedge, cold air damming, a, a 1033 high that's over New England, uh, cold air coming down the Appalachians. And again, this looks like a nasty, maybe crippling ice storm for Atlanta and parts of North Georgia, uh, parts of much of South Carolina. Uh, I mean, this this just does not look good. And, and clearly, cold air damming can move into East Alabama and affect counties like Cleburne and Randolph and Cherokee, maybe Calhoun and Etowah. And I'm afraid we're going to have some icing problems on that eastern side of the state tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. This is the uh, high res NAM. Uh, this is Wednesday uh, evening, and it shows actually some snow over uh, parts of uh, East Alabama, Anniston and Gadsden, and then uh, some uh, really bad freezing rain over in Georgia. And we're going to look, you know, for this second wave, you know what we'd like to do. Let's get this first wave out of here. And then uh, midday tomorrow, we can really focus in on that. But but I think the greatest impact of the second wave will be tomorrow night and Wednesday along and east of I-65. I don't think we have any issues west of I-65, just rain there for places like Tuscaloosa. But again, uh, east of Birmingham. This could be problematic, and we'll have to, to do some work and determine if we think it will be mostly freezing rain, sleet, or snow over there. And you could get all three of those with this. Cold air damming is a very hard pattern to forecast, so that's the second phase of this thing. Uh, but the good news on Thursday, we're out of out of it. Uh, nasty low is just off the middle Atlantic coast, 997 millibars. We have a uh, kind of chilly day on Thursday. Not so sure it's... Uh, as warm as we told you this morning, if you watch this this morning, we talked about highs maybe back up in the lower 50s. That might be a little optimistic. Uh, we're not going to get out of the 40s if this is right. And this is Friday. We should do 50s on Friday. And boy, what a great weekend coming up. This is Saturday. Uh, now, not as warm as we thought this morning. The highs are in the 50s. And then Sunday, we, we might creep up to near 60. Those numbers looked a little too warm this morning on second review. But still, the weekend looks great. A lot of sun, comfortable afternoons, chilly nights. In a week from today, we're still dry. We'll go deeper in the forecast period quickly. This is the 23rd of February, evidence of a big rain event. And on the 26th, that's the end of the forecast period. That will be cool and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here, if we can, by 7 o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow morning, a lot of things will be happening. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.